Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm back at the Rainbow Festival and I'm gonna be checking out two of the new Magic Code horses that just came out. And there's also a bazaar going on that I'm gonna go see about. It has been a hot minute since I have played this game. It's been like a week. It will, I mean, I guess that's not really that long, but it is when you're trying to make a channel about the game. So my apologies for not being on top of updates and putting out a video for a minute, but, and it's also hard telling how long it's gonna be before I actually finish editing this video and post it. So anyway, this is the first magic coat horse. It's called Bronte, I think. And I think that both of these horses are really good. The magic coats and the regular coats. And yeah, I like them. I think they're pretty good. Um, I do like with both of these how their um, regular coats still have some kind of a marking on them that's not ordinary or like it wouldn't occur naturally. Like this horse's um, face marking is a little oddball and the other one has like his coat pattern is like kind of swirly which is really cool i like that because it sets them apart as even when they're in their regular coat it makes them unique from the other horses with both of these horses i think star staple nailed like the concept they fit the rainbow festival like cloud kingdom thing really well the swirls, the shading, the cloud mane and tail, the little wings on the hooves, all these details are so good. If there's one thing I had to critique, it would be that I wish this Pegasus had bigger wings, but I get why it has to be small wings for like the practicality of it. This like Palomino Pinto regular coat is absolutely beautiful. I love it. The only thing that I don't like is the badger face and that isn't like a criticism of how it's done i think it looks great technically i just don't like badger face horses okay now i'm on the way to the bazaar by the time i finish editing this i'm just going to assume that it's already going to be over because i'm always late and behind on things but i'm definitely planning on doing like a little mini shopping spree here i know what at least two horses here are that i definitely want I definitely want at least one Tennessee Walker, and I know I want the Chestnut, like, app exclusive. Um, where is the entrance to this place? The um, Chestnut app exclusive Thoroughbred, because I have it in, like, the Horses app, and I'm not going to pay full price for it if it's going to be here discounted. So, and that's the last horse from the app that I wanted. So now I can delete that app and be done with it. Thank God. What is this? I think it's a, yep. I know this breed. I don't know how to pronounce its name. I'm not gonna embarrass myself by trying to pronounce it. So there's that. This is the thoroughbred that I'm talking about. Um, English thoroughbred, woo, -woo fancy. Um, English and American thoroughbreds, as far as I know, they're basically like the exact same except the our only argument is that like the English thoroughbreds tend to maybe be a little bit bigger boned, which I prefer. So I would like them to do an American thoroughbred if for no other reason than it gets, it just gives them an excuse to like redo the thoroughbreds and actually do them justice like they're doing with the Frisians this year. This Arabian is pretty. I do like it. Not going to get it though. There's, there's only like two... Arabians that I like or would actually get um, when you hit this browse breeds button that shows all the ones available here and there is breeds available here and app exclusive horses that normally you can't get in the main game but they are all here they're just not shown like actually in like the stall thing with the others this is the English thoroughbred though that I'm definitely definitely going to be getting I do have this in the app and I already have her name is Red Velvet. And yeah, I think she's pretty. The thing with the English thoroughbred, as long as it's standing still, it looks really good. The shading, the markings, everything on this one, excellent. Once it's in motion, things start to progressively go downhill. As you can see, like, what is this? This is like a cheetah or something, not a horse. 
and especially not a horse known for galloping like that is a mess but it's just so pretty standing still though that i want it this thing i don't know should i try to pronounce it no no i'm not gonna try pronouncing it i just i'm trying to like mentally say it and i just know i'm gonna butcher it so anyway yeah i i don't care for this one i don't think i would ever be getting it um that one i guess what is that like a red roan sabino maybe i have no idea the quarter horse same thing um i wish that they would redo it because i don't think that this does it justice at all its head i mean i know that like uh, some of the the um quarter horses are very known for keeping their heads very low and like these very like distinctive proportions with like the tiny head and the huge butt it's like what are they called like halter class or something like that quarter horses are they're, they're they just look like freaks to me i'm sorry they do normal just regular run-of-the-mill quarter horses don't look like that and or they do it's just like far less freakish basically so i just wish that they would redo the quarter horses too because i don't like any of them and there's such a huge difference between like early gen 3 and like current gen 3 horses and thank goodness for that because you have these beautiful gen 3 tennessee walkers that walk all up and down the earlier gen 3 horses even though these tennessee walkers aren't like a super new breed but yeah i when i first got this game i thought oh i'm probably never gonna get a tennessee walker i don't care for them it's not for me but the more i've looked at them in game the more i have liked them and they've just really grown on me they're just such a like i don't know how to say this nicely but like they're just such an ordinary plain looking horse like their shape and stuff it's just like horse it's just horse there's nothing spectacular about them and that's why i didn't like them at first because they didn't stand out and they just looked like very very plain horses but yeah that's kind of why they have grown on me because they are realistic in the sense that they're so plain and ordinary and i do like bay horses so much so i obviously like a plain and ordinary horse this one never i would never get that this one's very popular i know a lot of people have it i don't care for it i feel like the dapples are too like fake looking like too airbrushed but i do think it's pretty i just don't think that i would get it at least not anytime soon in a silver bay i'm just not a fan of silver bays it doesn't matter the breed i just don't care for them very much even if they i admit they're nicely done i just don't like silver bay you know what i do like a plain bay and here it is this is the most ordinary simpleton horse the game has to offer and i love it this is I, and this one too it's very similar and just like it's just there it's so forgettable and i love it and then you have like the sooty bay and again i love bays i love this one this is i mean it's a great horse but then i see these ones that are just very simple in comparison and i'm like i kind of am just drawn to the plain bay should i get the sooty bay should i get the black or should i get the plain ordinary bay uh I think I know the answer, but I'm gonna pretend like I'm thinking about the other horses first. I do really like the stripe that's kind of irregular and goes off to the side on this one, and I really like the hoof marking, or the leg markings, whatever you wanna call it. The little dots in the back hooves is so cute, and that's just such a good small detail that makes a world of difference in how realistic the horses seem. I really love that. Now, before today, like right now, if you had asked me which of the Tennessee Walkers I wanted the most, I would have absolutely said this one, the Sooty Bay. But now that I'm here looking at them, I do still absolutely love this one. And it's a definite we'll get someday. But I'm just not completely sold on it right now. And it's like seeing it in person up close. I do love it. I think it's great. And I would love to have it. But it, like it's dapples as much as I like it. It has the same problem for me as the Dapple Gray does, where it feels a little fake and airbrushed. Like, it doesn't have 
the realism in it. Oh, I love that the horse. It's so pretty. And it just disappeared as soon as I acknowledged it. Anyway, I, I love it. I think it's super pretty, but it doesn't have like the same level of realism as the other ones do because the dapples are just a little bit too airbrush looking to me. So anyway, I'm going to sit on this and decide which one that I want, although I'm, I, I know which one I'm going to get, but I'm going to think about it first just to be 100% sure. I've thought about it. I know which one I'm getting and it's going to be the plain bay. But first, I'm going to get this girl. It's going to be a mayor and her name is going to be Red Velvet. I'm looking at the other main styles real quick just to see which one I want for sure, but I really don't think I have the star coins to spare to get a different main style and I mean, I kind of just liked it the way it was. I do like these little, the little braids. Those are cute. But mm, the problem is that the reason I hadn't got this in the horses app for full price is because I didn't feel like it was worth full price. And even getting it at a discount still feels kind of steep. So why would I spend extra star coins on its mane and tail when I don't feel like the overall model is really that good and I I almost only like it while it's just standing so I'm not gonna change the main style and I'm just gonna leave her the way she is look she's so pretty but I just know as soon as I get on that thing and make it run it's gonna be atrocious atrocious <laughs> Here she is. I'm here at the racetrack because where else would I test out a thoroughbred? And she is so pretty. I do think the coloring and the shading on her is so nice. It's just that I know when she runs, it's going to look like unspeakable crimes against animation is what it's gonna look like. But as long as she's standing still, look how pretty she is. I just think it's so nice. But as soon as she speeds up, as soon as she speeds up, we shall see the crimes. I bet you guys didn't know that I live really close to Churchill Downs, which is where the Kentucky Derby is, of course. Um, I've never been, always wanted to go. It's a life goal bucket list. And yeah, it is a huge deal here every single year, obviously. Like there's this whole like two week festival and stuff leading up to it all the celebrities come it's a pretty big deal and i want to go someday but anyway i feel like i was so lucky to grow up so close to like the horse capital of the world or at least like horse racing anyway like lexington kentucky not too far away from me either and there's tons of tons and tons of horse farms out there and like actually this whole area where i live like almost everybody has a horse Oh, and also the Kentucky Horse Park is less than a two hour drive from where I live too. So we've been twice and I'm planning to go back sometime next year, probably in the spring. And yeah, I mean, I feel like for somebody that loves horses, I'm in a pretty good place for it. Back to Miss Red Velvet. Psycho, psycho. It's pretty much just as I feared and the faster she goes, everything in the world becomes wrong with it. I do get what they were going for with the fast gallop if you watch horse races when they're going all out thoroughbreds do look similar to this it's just that they didn't animate it well enough and it just looks really clunky and awkward however from your like standard from behind camera view like right now the animations look fine so at least that's good Okay, I thought for sure that I was recording when I actually bought this horse, and I wasn't apparently, because when I went to like put the video together, it's- <coughs> Shut up! <coughs> Shut up! <coughs> Shut up! It's gone. So, this is Sweet Tea, because it's like a Tennessee walking horse that had to have a southern name, and I thought, what's more southern than Sweet Tea? So, here she is. I already forgot if this is a mayor or a gelding, uh, whatever. Um, I love it. I do love it. I'm glad that I got the plain bay. I feel content. The only thing that I'm not happy with right now is my outfit and tack because I have like so many untrained horses in my stall or stable right now and they all have got their tack and stuff still on them. 
and it's all my good tack so i was reduced to like crumbs for picking out this outfit and this tack to go with it so it's not my favorite outfit but it's okay um, and you may be wondering, why don't I just go get the tack I want off of the horse that I'm not using? Well, I could, but that would take time now, wouldn't it? I really don't have anything bad to say about this horse or the Tennessee Walkers in general. I just think that they are pretty much as good as it gets. Their animations are excellent. It's very true to the breed. The coat colors are all good. There's nothing here that I could critique, really, because I just think that they absolutely nailed these horses. So one thing that I want to mention before I go is that we're about to hit 700 subscribers and I know that's like a piddly squat number to most YouTubers but that's a big number for me because it's one step closer to being monetized. If you don't know you need a thousand subscribers and 4,000 I think watch hours in order to be monetized and we're getting closer to it every day. Thank you so much and if you do want to help the channel liking subscribing commenting all of that helps so so much and what i really need help with right now is the watch hours so if you're already subscribed thank you first of all but a way that you could help me is if you want to go back and like binge watch or just watch a couple of my older videos that you haven't seen yet that would help my channel out so much towards getting the watch hours that i need and again, don't feel obligated or pressured to do that. It's just if you want to, if you like my videos, you're probably gonna like my older ones too. And I would appreciate it so, so much. So anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you. And please like and subscribe. I will see you next time.